Okay, last problem here. You're buying books for your little brother's birthday. Each book costs $4.30. And how many books can you buy if you have $27? Well, this is the division problem because you have an amount of money and you are taking little pieces of money out in equal amounts. You're taking out $4.30 and then you take out another $4.30 and then you take out another $4.30 and you keep doing that until you have no money left. Kind of like how we know that repeated addition is multiplication. This could be with repeated subtraction. Okay, but you can also do it with division. How many groups of $4.30 are there? in $27. So we're going to jump right over here and we're going to divide this. Oh, that's a tough one here, right? Because um, I see decimals in my divisor, but not the dividend. So if I have a decimal here, I'm going to move it over. Now I can move it one place or two. $4.30 is 4.30. But really, if I move that here, I'm really going to have a 43 there now. 43.0 is still 43. So I'm going to say I have a whole number over there. I wonder if I have an eraser here. I don't know if I do. Is that an eraser? Oh, that's an eraser. Look at that. So it just goes away. Okay. So this number becomes 43. And if I get rid of that and move that decimal one place, then I can take this decimal, this imaginary one that's here, and move it one place over. So really what I have is 270 divided by 43. Well, if I think about my fours, four times five is 20, four times six is 24, four times seven is 28. So if I'm looking at that first digit here, 40 times maybe six or seven, let's try six, okay? 43 times six, six times three is 18, carry the one. Six times four is 24, plus one is 25, so 258. That's only 12 less than 270, so that's the right number. So 43 times six is 258, and I'm gonna subtract and I'll get a 12. What I could do here, and I could put a 0. .0. Does it really matter what number is after the decimal here? Because the question says, how many books? Well, can you buy a part of a book? Can I buy 6.2 books? No, I can only buy six books, so that's the answer.